In problem number 15 of section 2.5, we look at the improper integral of um, from 0 to 1 of 1 over x to the n and ask if it converges or diverges if we know that n is greater than 1. So the, this integral is just equal to limit as a goes to 0 um, from the right now, since we're interested in the interval 0 to 1, we want values um, as x is coming towards 0 from the right of the integral from a to 1. Uh, of course, we don't have to split this interval up into different segments because it's defined, uh, the integrand is defined on the interval, um, on the open interval 0 to 1. So look at the limit as a goes to 0 from the right of the integral from 1 to a of, or from a to 1 of 1 over x to the n dx. And if we evaluate the integral, uh, we uh, can rewrite this as x to the minus n. So just applying the power rule, we get x to the minus n plus 1 uh, divided by the new power, which is minus n plus 1. And evaluate that from a to 1. So that's the limit as a goes to 0 from the right of see. Now we can pull out the negative n, uh, 1 over negative n plus 1. Um, that leaves us with uh, 1 to the negative n plus 1 minus a to the negative n plus 1. Of course this 1 raised to any power is just 1. And the limit of a constant is the constant itself. So the first term is 1 over negative n plus 1 times 1. And minus limit as a goes to 0 from the right of a to the negative n plus 1. Now remember that we're assuming that n is uh, greater than 1. So if n is greater than 1, that means that uh, negative n plus 1, so if we just um, subtract n from both sides, uh, this is actually less than 0. Uh, and of course, if that's less than 0, then it's negative is greater than 0. So 1 minus n is greater than 0. So we can rewrite the second term uh, as 1 over a to the 1 minus n. And no, we know that uh, 1 minus n is positive. Now, what that means is now as we're taking a closer and closer to 0, the denominator is just going to be something really small getting closer and closer to 0, raised to some power. And this is going to tend towards, um, the denominator is going to tend towards 0, which means that this entire expression is going to tend towards infinity. Um, so this goes towards infinity, which means that uh, this limit does not exist. And in fact, uh, the integral diverges if n is greater than 1.